This is another quick video to show uh, that the Nexus 7 can extract files from your iPod Nano. Uh, as you would know, uh, the iPod uh, devices generally sync only uh, with your iTunes account. And uh, what my cousin recently found out was uh, when his computer crashed and was no longer working, he could not. Uh, apparently uh, sync his iPod Nano with his new computer uh, because apparently the device gets wiped. I don't know the intricacies of how iPods work but generally I find that uh, iPod Nano struggle to sync their devices with uh, other uh, computers and uh, other devices. Uh, and they've tried it with their new computer but uh, still can't sync it. Uh, to get their uh, to copy the contents of their device to their new computer uh, so I'm not sure if there are uh, if there's some other method to do it but anyway they could do it using my Nexus 7 although they couldn't do it with their Windows uh, laptop so what I did was just take the iPod Nano I think it's the second or th uh, third generation Nano and I connected it via the iPod cable and connected it to my Samsung official Samsung Galaxy Note USB OTG cable. And that's my Nexus 7, and that's the Swamp Live wallpaper with all the bugs shown on it. I'll connect it uh, to my Nexus 7. Let me just see if we can do it with one hand. Just give me a second, I'm struggling to do it with one hand. Um, using my uh, the Nexus Media Import app, it already launches, and you can see this iPod is connected for syncing, but I'm not syncing it. It already launches, it reads the iPod without any problems. Uh, I'll go into iPod control menu, I'll click the music and I've got all the folders of music and I'll show you, I'll just copy uh, one one file just for demo purposes but you could copy all your files ok, you could either stream it or save it just stream it uh, for a second but I won't play it for longer uh, because of the stupid uh, YouTube content ID system I block my video so I won't play it for more than a second I'm just using e Strong's player. You can see it's playing there. So let's just exit out of it. Uh, and I'll save it. If you save it, it goes to your downloads and you can extract it from your downloads. If you want, you can up upload it to Google Drive. You can see it's saved to my downloads and upload it to Google Drive and sync it with your other devices. So there you go. If your computer with your iTunes uh, account has uh, uh, crashed and the hard drive is no longer recoverable, you can still copy your iPod contents using a Nexus 7 uh, and use it on your other devices uh, if you can't sync it with your IT, uh, iTunes account on your new computer. Okay, they don't. Uh, they haven't bought these files uh, from iTunes, so they can't download it from iTunes again. It's whatever CDs are ripped and downloaded, uh, uploaded it to iTunes. So they didn't want to uh, start ripping everything all over again. You can rip it straight from your uh, iPod onto your Nexus 7 or any Android device uh, using the Nexus Media Import wrap and a USB OTG cable and your regular. Uh, iPod cable. That's all you need. Thank you. Bye.